What's up guys? Troy from Tadcatters, welcome back. Uh, today, we're gonna try to do some catfishing. While we're catfishing, we're also gonna try for some sauger. Uh, right now, we are below a dam on the Ohio River, and we got some shad, so we're gonna cut the shad up, throw a couple poles out, and see if we can catch some sauger, some catfish. But we're gonna take you guys along and uh, hang out, see if we can catch some fish. So we got some shad. Um, they're extremely big shad. Usually, I don't catch these huge ones, uh, but let me show you how big they are. That's my hand. Those are pretty big. Uh, let's see. I'd say that one's close to 12, 13 inches. Pretty big shad, but we're gonna cut those up and get them out there. All right, guys, we're gonna let him go.
All right, guys. So let me tell you what's happened here. So I've got I had two poles out. Well, the first pole went down for the second fish. I got it about halfway in, enough that I could see the fish rolling up. And um, it got tangled up with my other line. Well, finally the fish broke off because there's a bunch of rocks and stuff out here. Well, then my camera falls over and breaks my, my tripod stand. So as I'm trying to get all this stuff fixed and fixed, I look over and my other pole's going off. Well, I finally got that one in. So this, ow, this blue cat's biting the shit out of me. So this is, this is the third one I've caught. They're not huge, but boy are they fine. But we're gonna get this one back in there. And I have no rods out right now. I haven't even had a chance to fish for sauger or walleye, but we're gonna let this one go and get back in on the action. Turn this one loose. Oh, he's biting the piss out of it. All right, bud, let go. There he goes. Well, come back. Where are you going, bud? That's the wrong way, bud. There he goes. Nope. There he goes. Beep. 100% missed both of those fish. All right, guys, so I just got hung up and I broke my leader. But always, always check your line after you get hung up and you get it back or whatever. This line is chafed all to pieces. I don't know if you guys can see all that. So we're gonna pull some off air and retie because, you know, I, a lot of times I've, I've done this a lot. So, but anyways, um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll get lazy and I'll be like, oh, it'll be all right. You know, it's still pretty tough. But, you know, I've done it and I've lost fish like that because I've been lazy and not changed my line or not, you know, retied or whatever. So you guys make sure that you check your lines when you, once you get hung up and you get it free or whatever. There's a lot of rocks out here, a lot of cover, and it's really checked this line up. So we're gonna change her out. Fish number four.
Man, these things are feisty. We'll cut him loose, see if we can't get back out there. You know, it's pretty sad that I gotta make this part of the video, but you guys, when you come down to these river banks, you bring your kids, you bring whoever, really, really gotta watch your surroundings and, and you know, be careful of what you're stepping in. You know, there, there's, there's drug heads out here and sometimes you find stuff like this. That's an uncapped needle. Yeah, you got kids or something playing around down here while you're fishing or something. Somebody steps on that, you're about to go to the hospital and get tested for all, all kinds of diseases and whatever else. But I just figured I'd make that part. Um, like I said, guys, when you're out here, especially after these big floods, I mean, you guys can see all this trash and all this debris down here. Just be aware of your surroundings and watch what you're stepping on because Lord forbid something like that would happen to you. But anyways, guys, we're going to get back to fishing and hopefully we can catch a couple more before it gets dark. I haven't caught any in about, I don't know, probably about an hour. Uh, I think the problem is, is they keep changing the current and the part where I'm fishing at, it's kind of like a big eddy. So it's kind of like, you know, swirling around and they keep changing it. So my line will be going one way and then all of a sudden it'll go the other way and I'll get hung up or, you know, it'll wash your bait up under rocks or whatever it is. But uh, I don't know, man, it seemed like it really slowed down. So we're going to give it a little bit and if we don't catch any in the next, I don't know, 30 minutes, I'm probably going to head it in and wrap this video up. All right, guys, uh, we're going to wrap this video up. Uh, they kept changing the current down there, so we started getting hung up a lot. I started getting a little aggravated, so I figured I'd go ahead and call it. But anyways, I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. Um, I hope they help somebody, and I hope you guys really enjoy them because I enjoy making them. Uh, go check out the other social media platforms. I've got TikTok. I've got Instagram and YouTube. You guys go check those out. Those have some different content on those. Uh, but anyways, guys, I just pulled in my driveway, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.